Tracy.com. In today's video, I'm going to tell you all about our Dry January Tea Collection. What is Dry January and why should you consider accepting this challenge? Whether or not it's for you, I got to tell you, this tea tastes fabulous. Friends, my name is Joy. I'm the owner of Subrosa Tea. We're a small company based in Northern Ohio and we will ship anywhere in the United States. We have over 100 flavors of loose leaf tea that we sell all year. Those can be found both on our website and on our mobile shopping app and they're organized by caffeine content. In today's video though, I'm going to talk to you about a collection that is limited edition. We only have it for a short period of time. We have a lot of collections actually uh, that are only around for a short period of time so no matter whether you are new or you've been here before I want to say welcome to you but make sure you check out that page we also have a really new feature on our website it's a website only feature you can check that out I'm sure you'll find it in the banner and for those of you on the mobile shopping app you should have received a notification you can always watch the replay you can watch the replay on social media and on our mobile app. One of the best things about the mobile app is you can shop straight from watching the video, which is nice, so you don't have to go find the products. Hi, Miss Karen over on social media. Hi, Happy New Year to you. Okay, funny thing. So today is the first Sunday of the new year, and I go live every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I haven't seen most of you since last year. So I feel like I should be saying Happy New Year. And I saw on a media segment that I think it was Larry David specifically said three days. That's it. Three days. You can say Happy New Year. After that, it's too long. What do you guys think? Should I kind of retire the saying? I definitely will after tonight. If you missed it, we do have a New Year celebration collection. We do still have that available. It is limited edition. Our combo pack features a tea accessory, and in that one, the discounted tea accessory is our Everest tumbler. In this combo pack with Dry January, our featured tea accessory is the satin mug. Friends, it's really hard for us to keep these in stock. So if you are interested in one now, is definitely the time. Karen says, Happy New Year's good through at least January. Okay, I will go with that. My thought is, especially if you haven't seen the person, right? If you haven't seen the person in a while, you definitely might want to say Happy New Year to you. I just realized I'm kind of dressed like a bartender because I want to talk about these great cocktails. But first off, let's go over what is Dry January? What's the deal here? Well, according to the interwebs, Dry January was uh, created most recently, just about 10 years ago in the year 2013 in the UK. Um, a group of people decided to get together and embrace an entire month being alcohol free. <clears throat> I do understand that we are just getting off the holidays where some of us have had a lot of parties to go to, a lot of social engagements, pretty much since Thanksgiving on. So some of us have enjoyed a little more alcohol than we're accustomed to, and it kind of just ramped up and accelerated. So that does make a lot of sense why now is a good time to cut out the alcohol. Personally, I think if you're going to cut out the alcohol, you've got to replace it with something that tastes fabulous. Hence this great collection. Some of the other reasons that you might want to con consider if the dry January challenge is for you, things like less inflammation. Some of us turn the calendar over, have a New Year's resolution, maybe to exercise more or to move more. That's always been my challenge. I just want to move more. I have a pretty sedentary job some of the time, and some of the time it's really physical. So I want to be in the best shape possible when I do have that physical part of my job. So I try to challenge myself to move more. And if my joints are inflamed, I'm not going to want to keep that up. And that is something that not only alcohol can do, alcohol can cause inflammation. Tea on the opposite side of that can actually reduce inflammation. So yay us, right? That's definitely one step in the right direction. 
Another good reason to cut out the alcohol, especially for a full month in January, is it does affect your sleep. Now, I know some of you are thinking, oh, when I drink a lot, I pass right out. Well, technically that is true, but studies have shown that when you are intoxicated, it can actually prohibit you from getting into deep sleep. That doesn't sound good at all. You need to be able to recover from the damage that you just caused your body. You need to be able to repair, and that happens when we sleep. So another good reason to cut out the alcohol is it does affect your sleep. Also, switching over to tea, I gotta tell you friends, tea is full of antioxidants. Even if you are not drinking one of the teas specifically designed to aid your sleep, <clears throat> because of the antioxidants, people have reported that their sleep is better when they make the switch from anything. If that's say they're a soda drinker and they give up soda and now they are consuming more tea, they notice that their sleep is affected for the positive. So another great reason. Now studies have shown that increased alcohol use can affect anxiety, so giving it up can reduce it, which is another great thing about tea. Again, with all the antioxidants and also because of the hydration. Tea is actually known as a super hydrator, which means it has the ability to hydrate your body even more than drinking water alone. Giving up alcohol has also been shown to improve mood. I think we all have that friend who's in the group who gets a little salty or sad when they've had just a few too many drinks. But on the opposite hand, giving it up has been shown to improve mood. And also your energy levels. Alcohol can really make you sluggish, which again, some of us have some goals here, right? We have some resolutions for January that we want to accomplish, whether it is moving more, or getting outside more, maybe um, starting a new habit, a new hobby, something that you want to accomplish. Well, if you don't have the energy to do that because of your alcohol consumption, that's not gonna help. I will say this particular featured Dry January collection has two teas that are black teas, so they do have caffeine. That's definitely going to help with your energy so you can start your mornings out fresh. We have two tea that are low in caffeine. Perfect for the afternoon. Do some of you slump just a little bit after lunchtime and you kind of feel like, oh, you could really use 15 minutes? Drink yourself a cup of green tea. It is sure to help your evening. And in this collection, because it has six tea, we do have two tea that are completely caffeine free. So if that is completely your lifestyle, you are welcome to enjoy those any time of day, of course. Another interesting thing about alcohol is that it's known to be a diuretic, which kind of means that it leaves you dehydrated. So like I was saying, tea is actually known as a super hydrator. You want to get your fluids. The interesting thing about the timing of all of this is dry January happens after the holidays. And here, I live in Ohio, but all of my customers are in the United States. So we are all going through winter. Even though I know some of you live in Florida and a few of you, a few of my favorite customers do live in Hawaii, I have to say it's still winter, right? It can still be a little dreary and it can definitely be drier. So now is not the time that you want to mess around with your hydration. As a matter of fact, you want to make sure you get more. Your skin can be dry internally. Your organs need that hydration, and you'll definitely feel better when you are. Winter is definitely the time, and January is as good a time as any, right, to focus on that hydration. Now, what's interesting about giving up alcohol is it can actually reduce your weight, and it's been known to reduce blood pressure giving it up. So that sounds like a good reason to do it, right? The best thing about adding tea or subbing out loose leaf tea for your nightly ritual of drinking an alcoholic cocktail is that the tea, specifically our tea, no sugar, no carbs, no calories. So you can definitely partake in them unless you add something to it. The tea itself steeped in water, no carbs, no calories, no sugar, so you can enjoy all the great taste of your favorite classic cocktails in this collection. I also have to
to say that again, two teas have caffeine, two are low, two are caffeine free, perfect for any time of day, but also friends, you can enjoy the tea hot or cold. So I know I was just saying it's winter. I happen to live in Ohio. Yes, it was 25 degrees this weekend. So yes, it's really cold and a hot cup of tea does make sense. But if it was my habit to drink a nightly nightcap, that's a cocktail that's cold, you can absolutely drink these teas cold. You can steep them cold, you can steep them hot. It's your choice. Tons of health benefits, tons of great taste. So I'm hoping I've convinced you to give dry January a try. And now I want to tell you all about the tea. So first up, I'm going to tell you that here at Sub Rosa Tea, we do have a collection of tea. You will save money when you buy the collection as a bundle. You can save even more when you buy the collection as a combo pack, which comes with a tea accessory. This particular combo pack comes with the satin mug. All of the tea that I'm going to tell you about are also sold individually. We do have them available in three sizes. The Dry January Combo Pack comes with the satin mug. Again, the satin mug is sold separately, but you'll receive it at a discount when you buy it with the combo pack. We do have it in multiple colors. It does have a, an infuser basket that reminds me, I probably should have told you just to make sure everyone's on the same page. Friends, we sell loose leaf tea. So that means that the tea is not in a tea bag. It is loose and we sell it by weight. The try me size is a half ounce and makes five to six servings. The value size is a two ounce and makes 20 to 25 servings. So the satin mug does come with an infuser basket, which of course is where the loose leaf tea goes. So the tea leaves into the infuser basket. And like I said, if you want a your tea to taste like an iconic uh, cocktail, you might want to enjoy it cold. And you can add cold water right to your infuser basket and steep this cold. My personal preference is stick it in the fridge. You can put it in the fridge and completely forget about it. You can steep it five or 10 minutes. You can steep it 20 minutes or two hours, even overnight. Nice and cold, that is my personal preference, but it'll taste good in just about 10 minutes, no problem. When you're done steeping, you can remove the infuser basket and obviously drink your tea. Now this acts like a coaster and also a lid. In addition, you can put your infuser basket on it, which is great for that second steeping. I know some of you are gonna want a second cup of tea. So we just set it aside while you're drinking the first, put the same tea leaves right back into your mug and enjoy your second cup. This mug holds 16 ounces. It is all three pieces are dishwasher safe. Oh, and it's microwavable. You just have to remove the basket, doesn't go in the microwave as you can imagine, but the mug certainly can. Let's see. Hey, Tiffany. Good to see you. What you sipping on tonight, hon? I'm going to put into the queue for those of you shopping on the mobile shopping app. We do have the set in a mug available again in three colors. We cannot keep these in stock. They are very popular. So if your heart's desire is to get one, do make sure you get them shortly. The Dry January Tea Bundle has two black teas, two green teas, and two caffeine freeze. Tiffany says we've missed you. Thank you. I hope everyone's watching in the family. Hello, friends. We do have a new tea to tell you about in this collection. We've had this collection before, and many of the teas have returned, but we do have a new tea as well. And that one's up first, so let me tell you about that one first. This is the Amaretto Sour. Now, if you're not familiar with an amaretto sour, it is normally amaretto liquid liquor, which has an almond taste. I love almonds. So amaretto liquor, it's normally some sweet and sour mix and also a lemon lime component to it. Typically like a lemon lime soda is added like a Sprite or 7-Up. That's what an amaretto sour is. Here with our tea, it is a black tea with sweet almond notes and I've added lemon and vanilla. It is a mix actually of green and black teas. So it's a, the, the best of both worlds, full of antioxidants, full of great flavor. Now it's funny, I was just out last night 
and um, friend who was sitting at my table ordered a sweet and sour and she said they're so great because they're perfect and you really just want one of them. I thought that analysis was, was absolutely perfect. This tea, I would have to say, it doesn't have sour like make you pucker notes, but it does have that wonderful lemon added to the almond, which just makes it a smooth, wonderful cup of tea. It is just nice and fabulous. Definitely great for the morning, full of flavor. I really do think you will enjoy it. Next up is our rum and coke. Rum and coke. I don't know, do you have a favorite cocktail? Really? It's hard to pick one, right? I can't say there's too many that I don't like, but I do have to say if I was out with friends, I probably would get like a Diet Coke and rum. It is kind of a go-to. I know what to expect every time. I love it with a wedge of lime on the side. Uh, rum and Coke is one of my favorites. It's a very iconic taste. If you've never had it, I'm not sure I can explain it, except for the fact that we have it in tea and it is fabulous. Don't let the ingredients fool you. I know it sounds really funny when you read them. It's like, oh, black tea, vanilla, pear, honey. What is she doing that can't possibly rum and coke? But it is. I've used bee pollen. Bee pollen is a really interesting ingredient to work with. It is definitely sweet like honey, but it also has those floral tangy notes to it. And this tea has got amazing depth of flavor. It is one of my favorites to steep up cold. Yes, cold water, but you could totally steep it up in diet club soda or seltzer if you were looking for bubbles, but no calories, no sugar. So definitely a great option in this rum and coke. It is it's really quite interesting. It's pretty fabulous, I have to say. Very, very tasty. Next up, our grasshopper. Oh, look at this grasshopper tea. I love it so much. If you're not familiar with the iconic classic cocktail, I have to tell you that a grasshopper is typically cream de mint and cream de cacao. While that's nice and chocolate and minty, does that translate to tea? Oh, you better believe it. Yes, I did use a green tea base that just kind of made it correct in my mind. So we do have a mint taste and dark chocolate and cocoa nibs, which is great because it has, again, even more antioxidants. And I've added just a pinch of matcha, which gives it that really iconic taste. Those of you who have been green tea drinkers your whole life, you know it doesn't always look like this. That's the matcha. So even more health benefits here in the grasshopper. I was doing some research and the interwebs say that a young man takes claim for creating the grasshopper and he was in the French Quarter in the year 1918 in New Orleans. So I gotta tell you, the grasshopper didn't make it into this year's Mardi Gras collection, but we are introducing our Mardi Gras collection next Sunday. So make sure you join us for that. I'll talk maybe even some more about the grasshopper. I gotta find out more information to see what really happened. I love them. I think they're great, but oh, so much sugar and calories. This tea is perfect. It really does hit the spot. Hits all the same flavor notes. Next up, friends, is our Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule is typically served in a very iconic cup. I don't happen to have one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't serve it in my house, honestly. It's a very specific drink. I love all the flavor notes in tea, though. That's kind of my jam. That's where I like all those flavors. So a Moscow Mule is normally vodka, normally ginger beer, and citrus. So it translates to tea perfectly. Uh, of that um, that great depth of flavor with the green tea. There's juniper berries, just like a ginger beer. Yes, there's lemon and lime and coriander. A lot of good stuff, a lot of depth of flavor in our Moscow Mule. I'd have to say, even though it is not a traditional lemongrass ginger, we get asked for that a lot. A lot of people really do like a green tea lemon ginger. So if that's something that you partake in, you gotta try the Moscow Mule. Absolutely. It is one of my favorite teas, even though it's not really one of my favorite cocktails. 
Next up, we have the screwdriver. Do you love this color? This cracks me up. I gotta say, with RT, all natural, nothing artificial. I don't use artificial colors or anything like that. And a screwdriver is typically a cocktail that is made with a vodka and orange juice. So of course you would think it's very iconically orange. Now it's funny that the screwdriver did, the tea also turned out to be orange. Yes, we used orange peels, of course we did. This is a decaf salon tea. And decaf salon teas do typically steep up a little more on the orange side versus like the yellow side or the brown side, like a regular black tea. It's a decaf salon, so it's caffeine free, which is great. This tea does have just a little bit of hibiscus, which is great because it balances out the sweet, tangy tartness of the orange. We have used both blood orange and also regular navel oranges in this recipe. So great depth of flavor, definitely fabulous hot or cold. It really is sweet and tangy and all the things just like a classic screwdriver. Next up in this dry January collection is our strawberry daiquiri. Strawberry daiquiri. We had this, I think we introduced it last year for the first time. Isn't it beautiful? It's really just bright and pink and fabulous. Now a real strawberry daiquiri, they do use frozen strawberries, which I have made them. I almost always have frozen strawberries in my freezer left over from the farmer's market. So that's why a normal strawberry daiquiri is bright, bright, bright red. This particular strawberry daiquiri, we did use tea, of course, it's tea. But in addition to the tea leaves, we've also used um, freeze dried strawberries. So you're gonna see those in the packet of tea leaves that it does give it that beautiful red color. A lot of the teas are red in nature because of hibiscus. This one, it's strawberry on top of strawberry. It really is, it's nice and sweet and fabulous. So normally, a strawberry daiquiri, again, is sometimes like a frozen mix. I have to say it's different. Did you go to your friend's pool party where they're making it from scratch? Or are you buying it like at a, at a, a bar that's not even a restaurant? So it's just a mix. Oh, those mixes, boy, they are really filled with stuff you really don't want in your system, in my opinion. That's my opinion. But anyway, a homemade from scratch decoration of frozen strawberries and fresh squeezed lime juice and a simple syrup which if you don't know it's sugar it is a sweetener and which balances out white rum really nicely so this has all the great depth of flavor but it's not just a plain strawberry tea it just has again a better depth of flavor to kind of mimic a daiquiri because it has all of those wonderful ingredients so there is some orange in here and vanilla and it just kind of makes it all light and summery and fun i have to say of the daiquiri this one might even uh, belong in a different collection so make sure you come back this summer i think in july we'll have a really fun summer inspired cocktail collection and i'm kind of feeling the daiquiri maybe fits in there too oh that reminds me we do have tea in our regular lineup that are, is not a part of dry January, but we have them and so they might interest you. I wanted to make sure that you knew about mint mojito. Mint mojito is a green tea. A mojito is lime and peppermint. So that is exactly what is in this tea, lime and peppermint. Nice and fresh and citrusy. Friends, if you think you like a grasshopper because it's chocolate mint, I have a feeling you're also going to like the mint mojito, which is lime and mint. Fabulous and fresh, not a part of the collection, but we do have it. Another one that we brought back because it is so popular, we actually wholesale this all year. That's how popular it is, our fruity sangria. It's caffeine free. Again, I was thinking, gosh, if you like a strawberry daiquiri, you might also like the sangria tea. The tea has uh, cranberries and cherries. So very popular in tea. This tea is caffeine free. It does have some spice in the background. It's just nice and smooth and fruity and fresh. Speaking of fruity, I was thinking if you like a screwdriver, which is typically vodka and orange juice, you might also like our fuzzy navel tea. 
fuzzy navel. Now this is orange, of course. A fuzzy navel is normally like orange juice and champagne, which is great for this time of year. But if our fuzzy navel tea has orange, peach, and mango. So nice and fruity, but it's a white tea. So it's very, very light. Lots of antioxidants, heaven, hot or cold. But I would say it's um, sweeter and lighter. The screwdriver tea is very, very strong and pungent and in your face with that orange citrus note. So if you want something very strong, go with the screwdriver. If you want something light, I, would, I really like fuzzy navel. Like it's light enough to have with a meal but it's strong enough to have for tea time, if you know what I mean. And we carry that one all year. Hi, Miss Kim. How have you been? What are you sipping on tonight? Oh, yes, friends, one more. I was thinking if you like rum and Coke, if you actually like the cocktail rum and Coke, you might also be a bourbon or whiskey drinker, and you might want to know that our Tennessee whiskey was a part of the Dry January collection in years past. But it proved to be so, so, so popular. We sell it all year now. It is extremely popular for us. So I know that other companies sell whiskey named tea, <clears throat> but it's the type of tea. It, it doesn't have any ingredients. It's just the type of tea is called whiskey. This has a lot of ingredients. It has amazing depth of flavor, which is exactly what you're drinking if you do consume a whiskey or a bourbon. It's aged. It has amazing depth of flavor. It's set in a barrel, so it's um, like consumed some of those great flavor notes. It has, again, great depth of flavor, and so does this tea. So this tea does have some apple notes. It has a little bit of smoke to it, a little bit of vanilla. It has that sweet caramel taste that you would get with that underlying notes of whiskey. This, again, this tea is good really hot or cold. It's just not like anything else. It's really, really good. So if you haven't had it, it's very popular. Tennessee whiskey, we have it all year. Kim says she's sipping on the eggnog tea right now. Thank you, Miss Kim. I have to tell you, we haven't made eggnog in our house for years. Real eggnog, like from scratch. We did it this year. We hadn't done it forever. And I, I wouldn't say we regret it, but we both had little sips of it. And it was just more than normal for us to have little sips here and there as the month went on. So I'm looking forward to the dry January and just getting back to regular tea. I don't, I don't need that kind of alcohol in my life. I really don't. But it was fun to make just to prove you got to have the tea. It's so good, right? Got to have that tea. That reminds me, friends, in addition to the Dry January Tea Collection, we also have our New Year's celebration. I had mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but it's only the seventh day of January, and it's not a New Year's Eve collection. It's definitely a New Year's celebration collection. So if you missed those videos because you were on holiday, we do still have that collection as well. The tea also has two black teas, two cafe caffeine-free teas, and two low-in-caffeine teas. They're perfect. So our New Year's confetti, our New Year confetti tea is like a coconut cream Earl Grey. It's really fun, beautiful, iconic, gorgeous, smooth, and, and just all the things that you want in a New Year celebration. The other black tea is called Rum Cake. As you know, rum cake can definitely be a lot of things, but our tea is definitely some spices. Um, nice and sweet black tea, of course. The new tea in this collection, new this year, it's called Sparkling Pomegranate. That's a green tea. It does have both pomegranates and raspberries. That, again, is in the New Year Celebration Collection and available individually. The other uh, light and caffeine tea that is returning in the New Year Collection is our Champagne Toast. It is a white tea blended with an oolong de jarling. De jarling is known as the champagne of tea. So of course it had to be in our champagne toast. And what's better with champagne than berries? So again, very, very light berry in the background on that. It is a nice light tea. You must try the champagne toast. It is fabulous. Two caffeine-free teas in the New Year Celebration Collection are Crimson Berry. That has returned. It is very, very popular for us. Cranberries, currants, elderberries, 
great for your immune system, great for this time of year. We've had that for years this time of year. Everyone loves it. Also returning in that collection is our fortune cookie. So the fortune cookie is completely caffeine free. It's a rooibos. By the way, rooibos is known to be good for your joints and your mobility. I know a lot of you have got that New Year's resolution to move more. You got to try a rooibos tea. Our fortune cookie has got almond and vanilla. So it's all the best flavor notes of a fortune cookie. It's kind of like what you want a fortune cookie to taste like, but it just never does, right? This tea is really good, really good and a smooth. Again, available now for a very limited time. I'm going to scroll up really quick to see if anyone live has asked any questions that I missed. I don't want to I don't want to overlook anyone, but I don't see any questions. So again, friends, I want to say thank you. And next Sunday, Mardi Gras. So make sure you come watch the live. We will be uh, celebrating our Mardi Gras collection next Sunday. Thank you, friends. No matter what you do with the rest of your day, have yourself a cup of tea and take care of you. Bye-bye, friends.